of a, a nine foot tall street legal darling. Oh, um, a darling, as in Doctor Who, yeah. Really? Nine foot tall, a big PA system that needs to go, you will be exterminated. I'm surprised that man. Right, what wishes should I plan? Uh, what wishes do you have? So then I'm not into building uh, cars to beat Guinness World, Re Guinness World Records. Um, the first one I built was the world's lowest car, which is called Impress, and that's 26 inches to the top of the roof. Literally, you have to lay down. Yeah. Oh my word. And then somebody else beat that, so I built another one, which is 24 inches tall, and somebody beat that, so I built another one, which was the Flatmobile, which is a replica of the Batmobile, and it was 19 inches high to the top of the roof. Do you still hold that? Uh, no, that's not that. Not Sorry, right. oh, you've got to do it in a minute when we get back. Alright, so uh, something about you told me something about furniture. Yeah, what's this? Yeah, yeah, um, well after that I've got the world's smallest car, which is based on the postman pack, Giddy Rides, it's the other supermarket. So it's got one of those, put an engine in it, made that road legal. So that's good fun. And then the... You still have to put 20 here? No. <laughs> you have to put an idiot in it. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, the last one I built before Oklahoma Willie was the world's fastest furniture. Okay, well, furniture. What? Yeah. So this record was held by a sofa that was owned by Ed China for um, many years. Um, Didn't see this on the one show. Uh, uh, you see the dining table on the one show. Oh, was it, was it yours? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah. word. Yeah. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, it's on the one show as well, yeah. Tell us all about it. So, um, there's a Queen Anne dining table that we built around a Reliant Scimitar Sailor sports car um, and a 4 litre uh, nitrous oxide injected engine. And it was all laid out with a white tablecloth, six PlayStations, a roast turkey, candelabras, champagne bucket, and all the, all the plates had broccoli, peas, gravy, a lot. So, every time you took this out, you had to cook a full dinner? No, it was all plastic. Oh, right. But when we did the world record, we drove that at 114 miles an hour. Whoa. And only lost one piece of broccoli. Wow, that's great. But there must be big deep holes there. <laughs> there you go. Well glued down. Oh, and apparently a potato. Oh, and a potato. Oh, my wife says. All right, Oklahoma Willie, where did you get it from? What is it? And why is there a jet engine on the back? Okay, um, well this is Oklahoma Willie. It's a 1958 Volkswagen pickup. Uh, it's an American one that I imported from um, Oklahoma and it lived all its life on a farm and the farmer's name was Willie, hence the name. So um, we imported it, it was an absolute wreck when we got it because they're very, very expensive to buy in you know, whatever state they're in. Uh, I spent three years restoring it and rebuilding it. Uh, it's basically nearly all the panels that are on it. A lot of extra strength has gone into it because of the jet. So looking at it now then, obviously from when it was you know, three years ago when you, when you started looking at it now, do you feel like you've accomplished what you wanted? Oh yes, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's been a, a fairly painful journey with a, a, you know, a lot of problems along the way. Obviously, it's never been done before. So uh, there's a lot of experimental stuff on there, lots of extra strength built in, lots of safety and security to get it past all the regulations. Um, but we're pretty much there now. We're still making it better. We've still got more work to do to make it faster and, and louder. And it's pretty good already. I so, think it needs to be any louder. So the engine on the back is a Rolls-Royce Viper 535. And that comes out of a BAC Strike Master, which is a light fighter jet that was in the Oman Air Force. Uh, that was decommissioned in, um, uh, sorry, the engine was built in 1978. I don't know when it was decommissioned. And I bought it uh, about six years ago from a scrap dealer, aviation scrap dealer, and spent two years restoring it. I think he must have thought, who's this guy that's just messaged me for a, for a jet engine? What does he want with a jet engine? Did you tell him what you wanted at the time? Yeah, 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 he quite often sells it to jet boats and jet cars. Um, there's, there's a few more nutters like me around in the country that, that use them. So, uh, so what, what sort of safety needs to go there? Because obviously, I mean, you, you, you're there, but you're surrounded by uh, very loud noises and, and lots of fire. What do you need to do to keep yourself safe? Yeah, so th this engine is producing just under 5,000 horsepower. So if anyone knows anything about horsepower, that's a huge amount of energy that's got to be kept under control and would, would be very dangerous if it went wrong. How do you stop yourself? Because, I mean, like, we're not on a runway here. You know, we, you, we run this down the drag strip. Yeah. But we're, we're on solid ground here and, and we haven't got that. How do you stop yourself shooting? Uh, so we've got the brakes and we've got disc brakes all around, bigger disc brakes. Uh, but I'm only going to be running today on about 7.5% of full power. Um, and full power, which is silly slide away across the way there. So we won't be going on full power. Brilliant stuff. All right. Well, do you guys want to see this? Yeah. yeah. I think you need to be a little bit louder. Do you guys want to see this? Yeah. All right. Do you want to get yourself all, all kitted up? Okay, you've got so, the safety team there as well to kind of help you. Just to explain a bit more, what we're going to be doing today is a static demonstration because we haven't got a runway to run on. 
Um, I'm going to be burning about 25 gallons of fuel in about 40 seconds. Wow. <laughs> um, it does get very, very loud. You guys at the back, it's going to get very smoky. Stand there if you want to get smoky. If you don't want to get smoky, move. I do mean smoky. And it's very loud, so any little children who might want to cover up their ears, and just be aware of that. Okay, enjoy. Here we go. I'm excited for this. The smile on his face as well, because he knows what he's going to do to Mikey, Mikey. <laughs> just to let you know, Bell's arrived. As soon as Oklahoma Willie's been on, we'll be bringing Bell quickly into the main arena before uh, Brogan. Start that. Great stuff. Okay, so we'll get to meet Bell from Love Island then, straight after Oklahoma Willie. If we'll be able to hear still. Ready? Just going to stir it now. I'm excited for this. The paintwork on this as well, Bob, is, is just amazing. I'm kind of standing out the way a little bit because it does throw out quite a bit of uh, smoke. Yeah, I can't be you the time. Too. Quite a bit of fire. And I know I, ha I haven't got, as you can see, I haven't got a lot of hair left. I don't want to keep that a little bit. Do you remember what I said about the noise? It is quite extreme, so especially with the kids, just make sure that uh, you're going to watch your now. hands over the nose. Because they've been very sad, I've been on the obviously wears on the fire suit and stuff like that. With the jet engine on the back, he is quite protected because if anyone's gonna, gonna fire out, it's gonna fire out away from him. But he still has to wear a fire suit, just like the monster truck drivers do. Fire gloves, fire boots, uh, and also a, a helmet as well. He doesn't have a hands device uh, in this one, uh, because obviously it's used for, for drag racing, so it's a little bit different. He needs to be able to move his, uh, his neck, so he wouldn't have a hands device in there. Scotty's pit crew with him right now, so they do all do the same. Just to make sure that he's uh, seated in there perfectly and uh, that the seatbelts and everything are, are correctly fastened. They'll then check the outside of the vehicle. They'll do a quick check whilst the fire's are just to make sure that everything is firing in the right place. And then when they're ready, they will just walk away and Perry will do his thing. <laughs> you all get your video of this or some pictures of this, we'd love to see them on your socials, just upload them to Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, just put the hashtag at the end, TruckFest, and we'll be able to find it that way. We'll try and like, share and retweet as many pictures as we possibly can from the show this weekend. Right, we're almost ready. No, you stop. So the door is closed. Okay, these are the quick checks that they do. Press his hand in there, make sure it's not hot. Yeah, I really wouldn't be looking in there. We'll read this off the just earlier. 